Diddy, yet again. Yet again, Diddy. Diddy, you got too much of my money. You got too much of my money. I need you to send some back. I done drank your seltzers. I done drank your vodkas. I done drank your brandy. I'm drinking your tequila. All of them are really good, but they taste even better if you was paying me. And welcome, everyone. It is October 24th, and I am your host. I'm going to start off with something that we've heard before. We've heard this before. California has been put on notice and been given, been given the task to come up with a vaccine for Ebola. Because Uganda has Ebola. This sounds a little familiar, kind of how we went through the whole thing with COVID. They tasked us with coming up with a vaccine, and they warned us first. I hope we, oh, I hope Ebola don't make it over here. I hope it don't. I cannot, I cannot go through another pandemic, because I, folks don't listen. Folks do not listen. And we didn't know what we was getting with coronavirus. We've heard about Ebola before. We've heard of this. Please, please, scientists niggas, send that shit over there immediately. Immediately, because I don't, I don't want to catch none of that. We're having enough trouble fighting the diseases we have here at home. Gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, we still ain't defeated those. Ugandans, Keep your shit over there. I don't want to deal with it. I don't even know how you catch Ebola. I don't want to find out. I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want to stay home. Please don't have me sitting here in my kitchen making these videos to entertain. Actually, no. You know what? Change my mind. Change my mind. Bring that shit on so everybody has to sit in their house and watch my videos. I said what I said. Ikea. Ikea, have you lost your motherfucking mind? Ikea is marking up their products. 80. Let me fix my mouth. 80. 80 percent. They are marking up their products. 80 percent. The dope thing about Ikea was the shit was cheap. Maybe I couldn't pronounce the shit when I was buying it, but it was cheap. Couldn't read the labels. I could read the numbers. But 80% Ikea for some shit I have to put together? If you marking it up 80%, I need four Swedish niggas showing up to my house, putting my shit together immediately. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. Ikea, y'all still, y'all still owe niggas for the whole Juneteenth debacle. Y'all remember fried chicken and watermelon on Juneteenth? Y'all still owe us. 80%. That's a, that's a huge leap for shit that's not even really wood. Ikea. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. The Juneteenth debacle. Most of y'all friends should fall on babies. Because cause nobody reads the instructions saying I got I to gotta strap it down to something. Ooh, strap down a desk. It's a desk, Ikea. I said what I said. Fuck you. I don't even know this Negro's last name at this point, but I know his daddy. Uh, Marcus, son of 50 Cent, young man, young man, you out here really telling people on social media, you're telling the masses that $6,700 a month isn't enough to raise a child on? 50, 50, don't even argue with this nigga. Don't even argue with this nigga. For one, this nigga's grown, so he's not even getting the money no more. Issue a challenge to the issue a challenge to him. Since sixty-seven hundred dollars isn't enough, find out how much the average person makes in this country, and give him that a month. Sixty-seven hundred dollars a month is not enough for you, Negro, as a child. Before bills, before before having to buy your own food, you crazy. You, I wish somebody would give me $6,700 a month. 
And the fact that you're talking about this now as a grown man disturbs me, bro. 67, you know, look, a month, not yearly. Um, most people don't make, most people don't make that in three months, sir. And you're complaining about getting it as a child. Imagine, and you didn't have to work for it. Imagine having to go to work and put up with your boss's shit and make way less than $6,700 a month. You sitting there kicking it, complaining about $6,700. I'm going to keep on saying it. I'm going to get a t-shirt that says $6,700 a month. Ah, boy, I beat your ass for $6,700 a month. I said what I said. I mean, damn. Look, I'm 50 cent. He, he was... He living and still giving that much money? These 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 musicians and and what they and what they do is amazing. And I say that because he's been dead. He's been dead for a while. And this man's legacy is still is still amazing. And me seeing these videos the other day proves that the internet is undefeated. I don't know when these videos came out but have you seen have you seen have you seen have you seen middle eastern thriller have you seen it i grew up on thriller thriller was the first music video i remember and the fact that these middle eastern cats right here they did thriller and put like a like a bollywood like fucking twist on it is amazing. I wish, I wish, I wish Mike was alive to see this because I would like to hear what he had to say about it. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure him being the entertainer he was, he would have gotten to the remix and that would have been hilarious. And then you got this dude right here. This dude doing the uh, rock with you. Rock with you right here. Get on top the background, okay, I get how he did the background. Green screen, you can do anything with green screen. But the outfit, the fucking, the fucking outfit, that took time and effort. They don't, the only place you could get something like this, maybe Ross. Maybe Ross. And I don't know about y'all, but when he said, when he sings, he wants to nut in you, like, he meant that. He meant that. Ladies, from here on out, if a man does not sing in your ear how bad he wants to nut in you, don't let him. Do not let him. Let him, don't let him tell you. Let him show you. Let, oh, you should feel it when he says he wants to nut in you all night. And, hey, and if she lets you, fellas, you can thank Mike and this fat man right here for the assist. I said what I said. <sighs> guys, there is a there's a new saying. I don't know if you guys remember Talladega Nights. Remember Ricky Bobby? He said, if you're not first, you're what? Last. There's a new saying. in the workforce, when it comes to going to HR. If you're not first, you're fired. I get so tired, I'm not even get, I am past tired of these work, these workplace warriors, these workplace warriors who go to work and I get it, we work with people, we may not like the person, but it doesn't give you the right to go to HR and make up stories about them, to start some shit. I'm telling you, going back to the very first episode, we need to go back. We need to go back to high school times. And if you got a problem with somebody, you square up with them. Square up with them. You fight it out and everybody goes back to work. You cannot be going to HR, making up stories, starting bullshit. It's no good. It's no good. In HR, y'all got to do better. The first person, the first person don't get to... Don't get to decide whether somebody gets fired or not. If you're not first, you're fired. That's pretty much that's pretty much HR's motto. Everywhere you go, if you're not first, you're fired. Because they're gonna ask you, they're gonna ask you for your 
your side of the story after somebody reports you and pretty much what they're looking for is for you to tell on yourself so they can get rid of you. Look, let me let me let you let me let you people know something. It's 2022, almost 2023. And I'm speaking for anybody who's ever had an issue with somebody at work and lost their job over some bullshit, somebody fucking with your livelihood on some bullshit. People that are out here doing this stuff, don't let tall tales in HR get you put in the motherfucking ER. I said what I said. I probably will not have an episode before Halloween, so I want to wish everybody a happy Halloween. Um, Enjoy your ladies, enjoy your slutty costumes. Whatever it is you want to be, slutty panda bear, slutty fucking wiener dog, uh, whatever, fucking, everything's going to be slutty. I, I, I love to see it, as long as I'm not related to you. Uh, fellas, enjoy your Jeffrey Dahmer costumes, because that's got to be the best costume that we're going to see you. Uh, black, fucking Jeffrey Dahmer, white Jeffrey Dahmer, fucking Hispanic, Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, <laughs> Let me get up out of here real quick, man. I said what I said, man. Before I get out of here, man, we're going to do a shot. Diddy. I want that checked out. Take shots. I want my check. Everybody who I'm fucking with, man, pay me. I do this because I love it, but I'm also trying to get paid. Let's take a shot. Woo! Don't forget. Like, subscribe, share, do all the free shit. Follow me on Instagram, Koi Cook. You'll see me. And don't forget to use your promo code for your shot straw. Comedian Koi Cook 20 at takeshotsbrand.com. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.